right. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to make a um, shadow play recording here. See if I can make that work. I have been messing around with Unity a little bit. Um, as you know, this is what uh, many uh, any land is going to be coded with. I have nothing to do with that. That's Philip's stuff and Scott's stuff. I just thought I wanted to try how it actually works to make a game, a video game in uh, in Unity, just like uh, Philip and his friend is doing. Because I, I honestly can't wait until they actually give us an alpha or beta of uh, any land. So I had to try out for myself how this actually works. So I'm just going to run the run button now. I've been coding a little bit in Visual Basics, following some ter um, tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, no, Visual Basics. I'm bullshitting here. Um, not Visual Basic, but um, what do you call that again? Visual C. C Sharp, I think it is. Anyway. I'm going to press play, and that means you should be able to see something. Uh, you probably won't see exactly what's going inside of my helmet. I'll see if I can ex can I expand this somehow. Ah, never mind. You'll, you'll have to do with that. I am... Um, let's see if I can find both controllers. There they are. I'm now wearing my uh, uh, HTC Vive goggles inside of my little quickly made our artificial world here this is noodles by the way i have outfitted him with uh, yeah i've designed this character myself in a, a program called blender and i've outfitted him with uh, the colors of many land my jungle avatar as you can probably see i have not made these controllers these are so graciously given by uh, valve to any developer who wants to mess around with it but everything else, you get a code and program and stuff like that. I have been using snippets such as gravity in order to make certain things uh, how I react to gravity. And some things like uh, noodles here, I can just grab here, as you can see, and I can place it in midair. Um, that means there's no gravity added to it. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's try some. These have whoever got gravity uh, added to them. This is kind of the stuff they, they showed you in this Anyland uh, demo. You can build with stuff. I have to say the coding behind this, we're not as hard as I expected. It was way easier than I thought. And again, I repeat to you, this is not an Anyland demo. This is just me messing around with code in Unity which is the same um, programming system used to make any land in the future. So you guys, I can tell you this, you can easily, and I'm not kidding, easily follow some tutorials. Oh, bye-bye <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> you can easily follow some tutorial and actually do this yourself. I kid you not. It's actually fairly easy to do. It's only a... I'm using various scripts and I'm connecting those scripts together in order to make them work and talk to each other, etc. So yeah, that's kind of funny. It works. And uh, I got to tell you, this was only done in less than a couple of hours. I think I used maybe just an hour or something like that to do this. And not the character, of course, he's been designed over a really long time. But the stuff with the boxes and stuff like that, that's easy. That's like child's play, really. So... Uh, this is just a small taste of what you guys can do when you finally buy the HTC Vive yourself. You do not have to only play a game like Anyland. Of course, we're all looking forward to that. But you can create, create and code your own uh, stuff fairly easy because there's tons of examples you can knit together in there. And I can, I can tell you, it is so much fun. I have no explanation of how cool this is. It is just the coolest stuff in the world ever. So uh, get coding, everybody, and I hope to see you in any land in the future anyway. And Philip and Scott, please hurry up. We want this to happen. All right, take care.